Hello and welcome to day one of my seven day experiment in using an iPod Touch as my only computer for one full week. Now I know a lot of people do use their iPhones or iPod Touches around the house. The reason this is uh, kind of a stretch for me personally is that I do use my computers a lot. Um, I use a variety of laptop computers for browsing the internet and communication with uh, people. Um, I use it for entertainment, um, both through uh, Hulu and YouTube, things like that, watching TV shows. I read uh, news and blogs online to get my information. I create and manage a few websites, uh, plus I occasionally make uh, YouTube videos. So I do tend to rely on these computers quite a bit in my day-to-day -day life and I'm going to be putting them all away and as an experiment I'll see how much of this I can accomplish using just my iPod Touch. This is my Servo Professional from System76, that's my main computer. I'm going to be putting that away. And this is my secondary machine, a um, MacBook Air. Put that away. Of course, this is my very old 10-year-old uh, iBook, clamshell iBook, with a solid-state drive that I've made videos on before. That's going to be put away. Um, my Hewlett-Packard netbook. That's going in storage. And this is my old... Uh, Macintosh, which uh, I don't use much anymore, but that is also going to be put into storage for one week. Okay, box these guys up here. These are all my power cords. This is the uh, power cord for the servo, the Hewlett Packard. This is my hockey puck for the iBook. My little power brick for the MacBook. And the other power Mac. All this stuff is going to be put away and replaced for one week with this my power adapter for the iPod. Okay, that's it. I packed the computers away, and I'm going to keep them in storage for seven full days without opening that box. And I'll see what I can accomplish just using this. My iPod Touch. Now I'm going to try a series of things, and then I'll tell you about how it went. Um, because I'm recording this with the iPod, I can't actually record myself using the iPod. So I'll just have to tell you uh, how it went, and uh, and then upload that. So this is actually my first test. I'm going to see if I can record this, edit it on the iPod, and then upload it to YouTube. I do have the iMovie app, which I downloaded. I bought that from uh, Apple for, I think it was $4.99 plus tax. So I'm going to, I was experimenting with that a little bit last week, but now I'm going to try it out for real. And if this works, uh, you will be seeing this on YouTube. Okay, uh, more later. Thanks for watching.